As promised, I've got some on-course footage, but I'm going to do it a little bit different with this course vlog. I'm going to watch it along with you. Let's get into this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to try and help your game. And as I said, I'm going to put the footage from the course vlog up on the big screen. Now I've got some mixed emotions about this course vlog. It was a little bit of a weird day. I'll wrap everything up at the end for you after we watch this, but it, it's kind of a mixed review. I don't want to spoil anything, but let's let's get the video started. Good morning, guys. Oh, it's 8.30 on a Sunday. I haven't Such really a douchebag. Since the end of December 2021, and now it is the end of April 2022. I wanted to get out on course today. I've really only been grinding on this swing for maybe about a week and a half. Expectations are kind of low. Putting, that's where I'm going to suffer as far as score goes, but really I'm just out here today to see how well I can strike the ball and place it on course to keep it in play. Let's get into this. All right, now that the moron is done talking, driver in hand, I think this is hole number two. Uh, good practice swing. This drive, spoiler alert, this is a pretty good drive. It's right down the middle. I had no warm up, like I said, uh, and so. You know, I'm, I'm gaining a little bit of yards with the driver. Down the middle. You guys aren't going to be able to see me on this camera because of the sun, but uh, I'm in the middle of the fairway here. You can see behind me. This is a pretty tight driving hole. It's only the second hole. Uh, the drive was 252. It's dewy. It's wet out here. So, And I'm just getting started with no warm-up today. So 252 down the middle of the fairway. I've got 141 yards left into the screen. I'm going to hit a little baby 9-iron. Let's see how this goes. All right, so this nine iron in hand, like I said, uh, I, I feel like I hit this ball really solid. It went a little bit left, ended up in the trap, but I think I'm kind of aimed that way. You, you'll see. I could feel it. I pulled that one. Struck well, but I pulled it dead left. I think my right elbow got out. So I pulled it left. I ended up in a green side bunker over there that was not in very good shape, but I had a really good out. I landed it on my spot exactly where I wanted it to. My short game is really simple, so I'm not too worried about that. That should come right back to me today. The touch on the putting greens might be a little bit off, needs something. Uh, but that was a good shot out of the fairway. I just pulled it. I feel like I kind of got a little bit out in my elbow, kind of came out a little bit. Instead of me just taking the left arm across the chest and then getting rid of it and keeping my stillness and my core. I'm also trying out a new golf ball today, the Wilson 50 Elite. I'm going to do a review on that, put it up on the channel for you. Let's play some more golf. All right, so that Wilson 50 Elite, I will be making another video on that. I played with that golf ball uh, on this day. I got a little bit across the line at the top. This one ended up uh, on the, the right center of the fairway. It was, it was pretty well struck, though. Um, that, that getting across the line, I'll explain at the end of this video why I believe things like that are happening. And I've kind of got mixed reviews of this day. Uh, you'll see coming up right here, I, I put the question... I got so many bad bounces, you'll see as the day progresses. It bounced sideways. Uh, this is an eight iron here. Again, pretty solidly struck. Uh, I think I was aiming a little right. Oh, so far through four holes, I'm sitting three over. <laughs> Had a par on the first hole and then bogey, bogey, bogey. Uh, some of it is putting. Uh, I did have, a, I think, two iron strikes that weren't that great, but the driver's been fantastic. Now I'm sitting here at 180 yard par three. Uh, I got a little bit of breeze coming across me, so it's gonna fight my natural draw. Uh, I'm gonna hit a smooth six iron. I I've got to try and stick something close and make a couple of birdies to get this score back in check. I hate listening to myself on camera. Do I really sound as, I sound as terrible. That's not gonna help, left it out right. All right, now this is a par five that, that it really, it bends around to the right. Again, I got a little bit across the line at the top. A little down the left side, gives me a really good angle into this par five. Probably not the best strike, uh, but the control is there for sure. Made a par on that last par three, chipped it really close. Saved my par there, so three over through five holes. Par five here, slight dog leg to the right. Need a birdie. So. This is six iron in hand. I'm just I'm just trying to get it up there in advance so that I don't have a chance of making this green in two. Uh, but I have some mixed sort of reviews. A 
about this day. I'll share those with you at the end of the video. Uh, this is another good drive here. Piped it down to right center of the fairway on a uh, par four. Turned out really good. This is a long par four, number nine, eight iron in hand. Struck this so good. Struck it so good. I'm on hole 10. I uh, finished the front nine at four over. Not exactly what I was looking for. Four bogeys, the rest pars, no birdies. Get some bad bounces on the greens out here. Not putting really well. Uh, I've got a case of the tugs in the last couple of holes. I'm, I'm kind of going left with it. That could be my alignment. It could be, you know, how I'm, I'm following through with my swing. I'm not sure, but I've got a chip here. I need to get up and down on this par three to save par. We've got a good attackable par five next. So, so this is another pretty good little pitch shot. Uh, this is a tricky green. It's trickier than it looks. Uh, and I think I left it about five or six feet away. Uh, missed that putt. By the way, made bogey. <laughs> Driving on another par five here. Uh, not a great swing. Not a great swing there. I kind of flipped at it a little bit. This was, in my opinion, the shot of the day until the shot of the day actually happened. But that was a spectacular six iron. It was so solid struck. Uh, and this is an approach wedge, I believe. I had about 105 or 110 left in. Went a little bit past the green, had to chip it. Uh, another par five. Goes up over the hill, bends a little bit off to the right. Not really reachable and too solidly struck. Uh, but I think I left this one just a touch too far off to the right. This shot right here, the shot of the day. Oh my God, I can still feel it going through my bones. Perfect shot. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. Everything came together in that six iron. Everything came together. It showed me what this swing can be once I get it dialed in. Again, pitching, chipping saves the day. I'll take it. I've got this hole and then two more left to go. Striking the ball well, getting good clean strikes, but there are a couple of anomalies. There's a couple of shots where they're not just bad. I've gone, what is that? <laughs> They've been terrible. Now it's not a lot of them, it's just a few outliers. And I've actually, in that group, I've had three either shanks or wide open bladed club faces today, all with my 54 or 60 degree wedges. One thing that I am noticing is that my my bad shots tend to be pulls. I'm here, I'm deep past this green, and I'm also on the left-hand side after hitting a, a, a good solid seven iron. I believe that this swing is solid. I believe that it is sound. I believe it is the way to go. But again, I've only been doing this for about a week and a half. It's not gelled, it's not practiced, it's not innate, it's not born into me yet. So I'm having to do a lot of scrambling, but for a first on-course test, it's not been that bad. Good, good chip here, landed it right where I wanted to in the fringe to take some off of it. Uh, another bad bounce. I have got some of the worst bounces out here today on chips and pitches. It's there's gremlins. There's gremlins in my golf ball. Oh, but I saved. I saved the putt here. Nice, uh, nice par save. This is my last drive. Uh, this is hole number 17. Um, hit this one pretty good. Just a little bit down the left so, uh, center. Uh, really good, solid drive. Super well struck nine iron right there. Super. But you can see it goes left. And so I finally lay a club down at my feet. Right where I was aiming. I don't have pulls. I have bad alignment. That's right where I was aiming. Uh, so there you go. That is this past week. That is, I believe, with about a week and a half of, of working with this, this swing that I've been trying to develop. It's, it's, it's new, but it's not really new. It's new in this form. I've, I've never tried to put all this stuff together before. And honestly, I don't know that it was something that I was setting off to do. I, I wasn't trying to put this swing together uh, with all of these elements. It just sort of happened. All of the things that I've been going through and, and learning over the course of the last few years, uh, bits and pieces just started coming into it when I tried to make the simplest golf swing I could make. I really tried to break things down 
into their simplest form. And as you can see from the course vlog, it's not foolproof. It's not like you just strap this swing on and boom, off you go to the moon. Everything is perfect. It's still just like any other golf swing. It is still going to take a little bit of time to kind of get into my system and get ingrained. But I want to talk a little bit about what we saw from the course vlog and, and go into a bit of detail. Down to brass tacks, what everybody's been waiting for. I had this down as a 77, tracking everything on my golf pad app. Went back and looked at the scorecard today, and one of my penalty, the only penalty stroke I had, did not actually register. I thought I'd click the button to add that, that I had to take a drop on hole 15. It didn't register, so it's a 78. The tee shot, it was a tight driving hole. I hit this great tee shot, but it was down the left side. I, I thought I'd pulled it, but it turns out I was aiming that way. It clipped a tree branch, and instead of falling straight down or going out into the fairway a little bit, God forbid, it kicks dead left and goes out into the woods. I looked for the ball forever, couldn't find it, had to take a drop. It did not save that on golf pads, so I had to go back and add that. So it's a 78 on a par 71 golf course. That's seven over par. Now, the score was good. 78 is a, is a really good score, especially not for playing for four months. But my short game and my putting actually came around to save the day. My short game is really simple. I've got a video I posted last year. I think it's called The Easiest Pitch in Golf. It's a really simple technique that I use for all my pitches and all of my chips. I never change it, so I don't have to be familiar with it because it's so straightforward and simple. It's almost bomb proof. So I didn't have any problems with my short game coming around, but the putting did take a few holes to get some of the speed and some of the lines down. But once I got them, I started rolling putts. Again, I have a very simple putting technique. Why was this a mixed bag for me? Why, why, didn't, why am I not just jumping for joy that I can not play for four months and come out and put up a 78? It's because my ball striking, especially with irons, was, for the most part, was, was good. Don't get me wrong. I hit a lot of well-struck shots. I hit a lot of really solid shots. But I had some that went left on me. I had one or two that went right on me. And what I thought was a ball striking issue it's actually, when I go back and watch it, it's an alignment issue. If you look at where the ball's taken off in relation to where my, my body's lined up, they're, they're going exactly where I'm hitting them. So I've got some alignment to work on. But there were a few shots where I was just thinking to myself, what in the hell just happened to that golf ball? Is something wrong with it? Did my club break? I mean, just weird shots. And a couple of them were, you know, the, the wedges... It was almost like a shank, but it wasn't like a true shank. The blade was wide open, and I hit the equator of the golf ball with the leading edge of the club, almost as if I had held it off rather than allowing it to release. I think that was the issue, and I'll tell you, I've traced back some of the bad shots that I had in this round to one factor. Effort level. Effort levels. When, I, when I'm out on course, I, I said in the beginning of the video that my expectations were kind of low, after I got through the first couple of holes, I was like, wow, I'm, I'm hitting the ball really solid. This is, this is going to be a good day. All of a sudden, the, the expectation levels get elevated, and you're, you're expecting things now. And so your effort levels then go up. And when I put more effort into this swing, and I was really trying to get it out there further, or I was really just trying to, to make everything happen rather than let everything happen when the effort levels went up, that's when disaster struck. So I've got to work on that. That's my takeaways from this round. I've got to work on effort levels and keeping those down. Don't try so hard. Don't swing so hard. When you swing too hard, I don't care what swing model you're using, it can lead to disaster. And I've also got to work on my alignment. I've really got to go back to where my routine, my pre-shot routine is to find my intermediate target and line everything up to that intermediate target. I got away from some of that out here on course, and it bit me. Some going left, some going right, missing greens, having to rely on my short game and my putting in order to save me. Ultimately, that's what's keeping me from getting down into the mid and low 70s with my scores. Guys, thanks so much for joining me in this course vlog. I will be putting up some more course vlogs. I'm not exactly sure what the next video is going to be, but as I said, I intend to do some short game stuff. I want to go back over and reiterate my simple pitching approach and, and chipping approach. Also, my really simple putting ideas, how, 
how I'm able to be a decent putter or a good putter. I'm not a great putter, but I'm a good enough putter to where I feel like I can two putt from anywhere and I don't miss many inside of five feet. I'm gonna share all that stuff with you at some point coming up, but thank you so much. Leave me a thumbs up down below. Give me some comments. I need some encouragement. I need to come back. You guys make all this possible. You're helping me as much as I'm helping you. Be sure to check out my links down below. You can, you can support the channel by going through Amazon. Also, Bionic Gloves has sent me out their latest glove. I've got one right here. Uh, if you guys need to save some money on Bionic Gloves, go down below, check the link. You can use my link, go through that, and then use my promo code to save yourself some money. Bionic Gloves, check them out. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.